Welcome to the Jim Day Show. Oh, guys. Goku having short-term memory loss. First of all, me poquito English. Another card. Look, open it. I put on this. No. Hello. I play me. Okay, so on today's show, we'll be talking about people's troubles with our guest stars. Mocana Rodriguez, Medina Cruzado. Amen. Okay, so our next guest is one something something something. I forget his name. No, it's for Juan Carlos Rodriguez Medina Cruz Orto. Yeah, you. Thank you for coming today. No problem. All right, so um, can I just keep? Can I call you Juan? For yeah. sure. Okay, not good. And so, what is your life struggle? Well, me struggle is time management. Okay, so. What is the problem you have with your time management? Well, my problem is that sometimes I do more of the fun stuff, but I don't do the important stuff, which is like homework, uh, school project, and uh, most of the time I play too much video games, like choo choo choo, and I play soccer too, and other sports. But yeah, that's like really important. My grades are not that good because of that. Because most of the time I don't do homework and I don't study. So I get a bad grade, no test. Alright, so how does that affect you at home? Well, at home it affects me because most of the time I, I spend more time with my friends and not with my family. And you know, family is very important in your life. And yeah. I feel kind of bad, but I mean, it's not my problem, it's something that I already have. I can't control my time. So what you're saying is that you don't spend enough time with your family? Yeah, that's right. Don't look at me. Do I still get paid? No. Yeah. Oh. Well, Magic John Johnson, what is your life job? Well, you know, Jim, um, you know, sometimes I can't sleep still, mostly in school. I have a struggle and I may or may not have ADD. I'm still not sure, you know, just, you know. But can you describe ADD? It's like, you know, when you have very struggle with paying attention and you have a low atten attention span and you can't sit still most of the time and it's pretty much me. So, yeah. so how does that affect your Affects grades and your crisis? Well, sometimes it's like after so much time in class, I will span out and not pay attention, then I don't get what I need to learn, and then it affects my grades. So how about at home? At home, the way I like cope with it is I play sports a lot, so I'm like out and active and stuff. But well, when you come back home, and then yeah, that's pretty much it. So then after playing outside, play and then I come back and I'm normally too tired to do anything. So yeah. so is that how it helps to? Yeah. Much. Well, thank you for your time. Nice to see you. Alright, guys, thank you for watching so far. And uh, now to, um, thank you. Right, now to introduce uh, Vladimir von Schaubeck. Today we are going to be interviewing these uh, two gentlemen. Hello guys, my name is uh, Billy Joe Hello guys, my name is Frost. Alright Billy Jean, can I call you BJ? Yes you can, nice to meet you Vlad. Alright, nice to meet you. Hey, hey, uh, BJ, wake up! Wake up BJ! Oh yeah, as you can see the sleep deprivation is... I just fall asleep anywhere, you know, my insomnia kicks in and I have trouble uh, Keeping myself awake. Sorry about that. Uh, that's okay. We'll continue the interview. All right. Uh, so explain to me how insomnia affects your life. All right. So since I have been uh, diagnosed with insomnia, uh, I've been having trouble sleeping, and I kind of just fall asleep wherever because of sleep deprivation, like I explained uh, a few seconds before. So it affects my life greatly. Sometimes at work I fall asleep while uh, in my meetings and uh, I got fired twice 
I don't know if you know what insomnia means, but uh, it means that it's a lack of sleep. So I would end up uh, staying up until the four in the morning, then sleeping, and I have work. So basically, your sleep cycle is messed up, right? Yeah, that's correct. So uh, what what job do you have now with this uh, insomnia? Uh, I am an electrical engineer. Okay. So how does it affect your job? Well, uh, as you can see, electrical engineering requires a lot of uh, work. So sometimes we stay working on chipsets for like uh, two days, uh, with, uh, no sleep, so it's a lot of caffeine. And yet yeah, still I uh, fall asleep. Yeah. So yeah. All right. Okay, well, uh, thank you for uh, being on the show. Uh, thank you, Vlad. Okay, I will see you later, BJ. All right, have a nice day. All right, uh, Frosto, how are you doing? Uh, good, Mr. Vlad. All right, uh, all right uh, so what is your struggle in life? My struggle in life is video games. So how do these problems with video games affect your life? Well, you see, it keep me away from doing work. You know, I miss so much work. My grades are down. I got straight E's. Oh, that's bad. That's worse than John Johnson. So, is there a certain uh, genre or uh, video game that you are addicted to? Yes. Uh, well, you see, the type of video games I like are over teen or mature because I love shooting action games. So basically like the big franchises like Call of Duty and Grand Theft Auto. Yep. Well, that's my name right there. So um, how do your parents feel about this addiction? Well they think it will affect my future and I think it might affect my work and my studies. Certainly. Um, is there any way that you will sort of, like fight against this you know, addiction? Well, anything you could do to stop it? I mean, there will be a certain time where I stop this, because I, I don't want my future to be on this thing. All right. All right, uh, Frosto, thank you for being on the show. Yeah, thank you, Vlad. All right. So, you know what it is? Yeah, it is a nice day. So you know how we're doing all this interview things, you know, life struggles? Yeah. Let me ask you, what's yours? Uh, well, I do watch a lot of television, you know? So, you know, things like uh, Star Trek, Doctor Who, all those shows, they are, they are really entertaining to me. I like the sci-fi. So, uh, I'm pretty sure that you watch a lot of, you know, TV and like, you read the yeah. anime a lot, isn't that true? Yeah, I watch them. I mean, but mostly what I do is procrastinate a lot homework, like, every day. I do homework at like around 10 or 11 o'clock p.m. Really? Night, so I don't get that much sleep. Yeah, no, I, I totally understand. Oh, well, this TV yes, is like the same thing. Yeah, they get it. So, uh, what is your coping mechanism for, uh, you know, this? I guess my coping mechanism. It's tough one. Yeah, I know it's tough for me too. I don't really have a specific coping mechanism. It's just anything that distracts me from television. Yeah, anything that like distracts you from or like being parents. Alright, so family is a good way to cope with problems. With they tell you to stop and do homework right now and just just stop. Yeah, it. yeah I, I totally agree, you know. Um but, uh, you know, back in Soviet Russia, we did not have uh, these problems, according to my parents. Because they did not have all these videos. So, now, for them, it's all very different. So, they, they try to keep me off the video games a lot. Also, um, if I may add, homework may help a little bit. I know it's annoying, but I have to do it. So, it, it keeps me away from the television. And, another thing, which I'm, yeah. I'm also sort of addicted to is video games, but that also takes me away from the TV shows. So I guess anything other than the thing you're doing can keep you away. Yeah, pretty much. So uh, that was the point. Yeah. Oh, thank you for coming. The time is up. Oh. Co host. Co host to co host. Thank you for watching the Gym Day Show, and thank you to all the guests who were interviewed today, and they were willing to talk about their problems with us.
and see you next time.